In this video, we'll take a look at Batch Guru tool called MD5 Hash Generator. MD5 Hash Generator can generate a new hash value based on the fields you select. Let me show you how it works. We're going to go to Batch Guru, MD5 Hash Generator, and we're going to edit an existing set and look at all the settings. First, we have name, which we give to every set so we know what, what they are. Then we're going to select data source, which is a safe search of the documents we want to run this on. And then we can pick multiple fields here from a pick list of all the fields we want to include in our hash generation. I'm going to close that. And finally, we're going to choose the destination field. This is where we're going to write out our new hash value to. And generally, you want that to be a fixed length text field. So we're going to save it and we're going to run it. When we come back to our saved search, you'll see the fields we chosen in Batch Guru were used and a new hash value was created. So now we can use this field to run a script for deduplication or do anything else we wish. The primary use for this tool is to give you control of the fields that are used in deduplication. Some software does not allow you to choose that, so you can process without deduplication, make your own hash value, and then use a script to tag your duplicates. If you receive outside production and you want to know if you already have these or similar documents, you can use this tool as well to generate hash value on your existing data as well as outside production and compare the two. And lastly, you can use this to perform the duplication on data that was processed in different processing software because I'm sure you know that different software may generate hash a little bit different based on the order fields were fed into the hashing algorithm. A few warnings to keep in mind. Uh, first, if you have a lot of text in a field, it may not load into memory. That's just a limitation of uh, relativity as well as .NET framework. So you really want to use this on emails only. You do not want to run this tool on extracted text of attachments. It's meant for emails. And finally, when you create your own hash value, it's very easy to make a mistake uh, and eliminate documents that should not have been eliminated. So my personal suggestion is you should use this tool not to remove documents, but to group them together for a review. Sort all the duplicates together so when you look at documents, you can quickly skip through them, uh, look at them, yes, the same, yes, the same, next, next, and move through it very quickly. That's Batch Guru tool, MG5 has generator. Thanks for watching.